Hi everyone, my name is Amy Bommets. I'm coming to you today from my office in Northern Wisconsin and I'm really excited to be able to talk with you about how to teach an effective and a successful class. So just a quick clarification, we're gonna be talking about an online class um, for some obvious reasons. Like right now, it's uh, much easier to be teaching an online class to people, right? And the other reason is this, I prefer an online class, <laughs> even when the world didn't look like this, because I really love being able to maximize family time. So let me explain a little bit. This is a picture of my family and I on the screen having fun the other day, uh, having fun this summer together. I uh, live, we live in a remote area and I don't wanna have to spend my time traveling to and from places. I've done that. I've driven six hours, taught a class and <laughs> turned around and came six hours back home. And what I want to be able to do in this season of life is put my children to bed, um, to eat dinner with them, to do those kinds of things, and to uh, slip out and teach a online class um, here and there um, in my work schedule. Okay, so some people I think are a little bit unsure about teaching online, and I get that it might be a little bit intimidating, but I just really want to encourage you to embrace it. And I also want to say that everything that we're going to be talking about here is something that you can do in an in-person format as well, so don't fear, okay? I've been making some tweaks lately to the things that I've been teaching, and it's gone over really well, so I'm excited for, uh, to be able to share those things with you. Okay, so I've got like five class tips for you before we start talking about the breakdown of teaching that online class. So the first one is find a buddy. So my mom is amazing. She is my direct upline, my enroller. She's phenomenal. And so she and I like co-teach these one-on-one um, -on -one classes, our essential oils made easy classes. So we each take a turn, kind of going back and forth, bouncing the ball back and forth to each other. I think there's a really good um, uh, cadence to our sharing, and I think it engages people differently and makes their brain have to think because it's flipping back and forth between the two of us and helps hold their attention. But honestly, it's super fun. So my advice to you would be to find somebody you can do that with, um, collaborate with somebody, um, even maybe say to maybe three people like, Hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to rotate through this? But I really think it's good to find, um, a buddy or a small group to be doing this with. It makes your presentations. I think it takes them up a notch and it can alleviate some of the pressure off of you too. Be prepared. You've got to practice. You've got to be familiar with it. Um, take the time to make sure that your people who are coming, um, and attending your classes are ready to attend one. That means being sampled properly and cared for properly and invited properly. Um, so make sure that you're taking the time to do that because whether you're doing an online class or not, it's, a, it's in person, you need to make sure that you're preparing people well so that you have a really positive experience in those classes and so do they. Because if you're not preparing well, um, you're gonna probably end up feeling kind of defeated about your classes, which is no fun. We don't, that, that's not how any of us wanna feel, okay? So be prepared, practice, make sure your attendees are ready to be there, okay? My third tip is be consistent. Be consistent. Um, you can look at this so many different ways. Um, I've heard it said like, you have a business, like people should know your hours, when to find you, when, you sh when you're gonna be open, um, and you should be, um, I don't know the word, but you need to be consistent so people know what to expect from you. We do our essential oils made easy classes every Thursday. Pick a day. Um, we couldn't agree on a time, so we rotate between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m., um, you know, but pick it and stick to it, and then people are going to know what to expect from you, and you will get greater results from that, too. So be consistent. You have to show up. Four is be fun and exciting. Can I just tell you something about online? Have you guys ever watched like online from somebody and it's just been like, I'm not sure I can watch that. Maybe that's how you're feeling right now. I'm not sure I can watch her or listen to her for one more second. So I'm just going to go do something else while I listen. You need to be engaging. You need to have fun with it. And, um, you know, sometimes you need to mix, misspell the word exciting like I did to really keep you on your toes. So do things like that um, and have fun with it. Okay. And my fifth tip is be short and sweet. 
life is busy, life is full, and attention spans are shorter than ever. So you can't be super long and drawn out, okay? Um, our essential oils make easy classes, this was like my thing, it had to be 30 minutes and under, period. We'll talk a little bit about what it looks like to add the business presentation at the end, which is optional, so I, I don't always include that in my 30 minute, like this is 30 minutes, sometimes it's a little over with that. But you are not looking for a really long, drawn out class. And especially if you think about who you're trying to connect with, are you trying to connect with a mom over nap time or, you know, like a mom at the end of her day after the kids are in bed and she's tired? Short and sweet, people. Got it. It has to be short and sweet. Let's talk quickly about some supplies you want to have, which is really pretty much nothing. First and foremost, I want to say the new class in a box from doTERRA is amazing. Grab one of those, do it, you won't regret it. Um, if I was going to be really specific, I would say you're going to need essential oils made easy handouts. You can get the download for free at doTERRA.com. You can buy the tear pad in your um, back office. It's wonderful. Okay. So that's something that you're going to want to have, whether you're sending it virtually to people or you're putting it in the mail with the samples, you're going to want that. Quarter drams. Okay. Um, you are probably going to be sending some kind of a customized sample in your sampling process. And I always include, I call it my class supply kit. So I like to send a hard copy of the handout if I have time with a sample, a quarter dram of wild orange and a quarter dram of peppermint. Because I think those are really good oils for somebody to experience while you're learning online. Okay, it doesn't cost that much. Um, you know, we use PayPal shipping and I think it's a worthwhile investment in them being able to experience with you while you learn together, okay? A Google form. I just really like having a Google form where they can fill out their info once they register for a class um, so I can easily send out their things, their class supply kit. It's a good way to collect information, definitely not essential, but if a Google form makes sense to your brain, I would totally utilize it. Helps you stay organized. And a Zoom account. You can have a free one. You can, um, you know, do the paid version and get a discount because you're with doTERRA. Um, you, I do these classes via Zoom. That's what I'm using right now. Um, I love that I can, I have registration turned on required. So people have to register ahead of time. I know who's attending. I can email them the handout or a reminder and get in touch with them that way. And um, it's been by far the best way to do it. The whole world is using Zoom right now. So might as well jump on the bandwagon. I'm sure you're using it too. And if you've been in doTERRA, for any amount of time, you've been training for this time with all of your Zoom knowledge by this point, okay? So Zoom is gonna be really good. This is the basic breakdown of a class. This might be very familiar to you, but I think it's worth looking at like the summary, the big picture of what you're actually covering in a basic class, whether you call it essential oils made easy or not. What are you actually going over? Okay, so the first thing you do is like an intro and intentions. You're gonna wanna tell people a little bit about yourself, not too much, just like a little bit. Like, why are you there? Why are you taking time to do this? Like, how did you, what was the first oil you used and why? Um, you know, have fun with that again. And then your intentions, like you're setting the tone. You're setting the tone for the class. What they, can they expect? And, um, you know, in a group format, this might be a little bit less, but I think sometimes people come into these classes being like, I'm not really sure what I'm going to expect, like a little bit on edge. You want to make them comfortable. You want them to know that you are really glad they're there, that you're going to take really good care of them, and that you guys are going to have fun while they're online together, and that you appreciate that they took the time, appreciate that you, they took the time to actually be on the call. Okay. And then we start doing our groups of three, our three cool things about essential oils. We always tell people, if you're going to remember anything about the class, this is what we want you to remember. We talk about three ways to use essential oils because you want them to know enough to be dangerous with their oils, right? No, you don't want to just like launch somebody into the essential oil world and not have them know anything. And then you're going to talk about the most popular essential oils. Um, depending on what kits you're offering, it might look different, but I would go to say, you know, you're going to talk about lavender and on guard and peppermint, lemon, frankincense, right? So we all kind of are on the same page on that, but you're going to give them some very specific tips on how they would use those oils. Testimonies, right? You've got people on who have had oil experiences. They can then unmute themselves on Zoom or put it in the chat box and share their testimonies. And if you need to, you can always just have a couple ready to go with permission of the customers that they're coming from that you could share on their behalf in this class format. It's good for them to know that you're not just the crazy oil lady, that there are 
other crazy oil people too. Then you're gonna talk about three ways to purchase because they have to know how to get oils. This is important. Um, and we stick to our groupings of three. Okay, so after you're done talking about the different ways that you can purchase oils, you're gonna explain some of the most popular kits. And it, you know, everybody does this a little differently. Sometimes people only talk about one kit. Sometimes people talk about two. I really think that's up to you. I would feel it out and see how your people respond best. Um, but let's just be honest, doTERRA's enrollment kits are amazing. Okay, and if there are promos going on, be sure to mention those too, okay? And then you're just gonna wanna wrap it up with your most powerful oil testimonial. You don't wanna like weird them out by being too much of the crazy oil lady at the beginning, so you're gonna save this one for after they've learned a little bit, gotten to know you, heard some other testimonies, and then you're gonna share um, your most powerful oil testimonial with them at that point. Um, you're gonna close and set expectations. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about what that looks like for an online class um, and how to do that how to do that well it's a little bit different than when you're in person right and you can't actually like go talk to somebody in a zoom room and be like everybody else plug your ears while i talk to them so we'll talk about how to do that um, but you definitely want to know like let them know what to expect from you and then the pre the business presentation this is where you invite them if they want to stay they can learn more they don't have to but you make sure that you um share that each time and that you include an invitation to attend so next I'm gonna go through a PowerPoint that I have that shows you, okay, well, first of all, this PowerPoint was very generously shared by Sarah Jansen. It is not mine. <laughs> um, I've made a couple of tweaks, I've made a couple edits, um, but I'm gonna be able to then show you some of the different ways, um, like visuals of what this looks like, a little bit more in depth, okay? Okay, so you're gonna start with your basic um, slide, you're gonna get them all settled, you're gonna set the tone, you're gonna intro yourself, and then you're gonna kick it right off by saying like, this is the goal of this class. This is how I wanna empower you and help you, the things that we're gonna cover, right? So they know there's like nothing hidden, they're not on their toes at all, they're like relaxed, and they are ready to learn with you. And then here we are right into the three cool things about essential oils. So you're gonna take time to talk about how they're 100% natural and safe. Um, you can walk through the bullet points on the screen here. This corresponds to their handout. And then this is why I include peppermint because I like them to be able to exper experience peppermint in the class with me. So you show them how to put a drop in their hand, get some on the roof of their mouth, breathe that in deeply, and even put some on the back of their neck, right? So to experience peppermint in those three ways and experience the power, right, and the potency of doTERRA's peppermint. And then you just give a couple tips for this is how I use this oil, um, nothing super in depth. And then you get to move on to the second cool thing that they're effective. You talk about why they're effective, how they work, how they pass through the um, cell membrane. And the oil that you get to talk about here is On Guard, right, which is just such a good one. Everybody needs On Guard, we all love our On Guard. And then the third cool thing is that they're affordable. You get to explain a little bit how they're really pennies per drop and how you use them um, like in your daily home um, as a first line of defense so that you hopefully don't have to go to the doctor if you have to, great, and we're grateful for them. But you walk them through that a little bit and then the oil you get to talk about here is lavender, the Swiss Army knife, right? All right, so you've covered the three cool things about essential oils. They're totally in the know on that. And then you're gonna talk about the three ways to use them. So you can utilize this slide with your buddy and you can take turns talking about these three things, but um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure they know how to use an oil aromatically. For this one, after I teach them about how, um, how it's effective to use an oil aromatically, I like them to be able to experience the wild orange sample that I sent them. So I let them put a little bit of that in their hand and just take a deep breath of that, which is also a bonus because they've got the peppermint on there already and then you add the wild orange, it's a great scent, right? Who doesn't love peppermint and wild orange? So you're gonna help them um, learn how to use an oil aromatically and then topically. Topically so important because it's a great way to use your oil, and then you get to teach them a little bit about diluting an oil, which is really important for people to know how to do. And the last way is internally, and I love the verbiage here um, from Elise where she says, doTERRA oils are not only safe to take internally, they are recommended. And walking through the different ways that they can do that and what that would look like, right? So again, this is where they have enough information to be dangerous with their essential oils and have that really important base of knowledge. 
Then what I like to say is we're going to walk through the most popular and versatile oils. This is where like you might pick different oils than I would, um, but there's going to be some overlap between what we choose, like lemon. Um, and an example of how, like if I were to present on lemon to you all right now, I think it's very important. You can talk about how you use it. That's fine. But you really need to talk about how they're going to use it. So think about those universal things for lemon. Like everybody cleans and everybody needs to keep their elimination pathways happy, right? So lemon here is a favorite. You're going to use this to replace every cleaning product in your home. It's four cents a drop. You're going to mix it with water and you are going to save so much money and it is such an effective and amazing cleaner. You're also going to use it by putting one to two drops in your water throughout the day because it's going to support your digestive system and your mood. It's going to gently get rid of those toxins that you don't need to be hanging on to. Okay, short, concise. I don't need to overwhelm them a ton, just a little bit there. Okay, I like to talk about frankincense, digest, zen, deep blue, breathe. That's a good one, guys. Um, wild orange, I touch on a little bit more, um, especially if a wild orange is something that you offer out of the class in, class in a box for people who choose to get um, an enrollment kit. I think it's good to talk a little bit about why this oil is amazing. And adaptive. Okay, so this is in the healthy essentials kit. And I think that um, I added this one in recently because I think this is such a common thing, like everybody can benefit from adaptive. So I've added this one in as well. You might choose to add others, but you're gonna wanna, like I said, keep it concise and maybe just reading the bullet points and adding like some specific uses for them. Don't overwhelm them, do not overwhelm them. Make sure you talk about lifelong vitality. Um, again, just like basic, like these are the, the things that's going to help you with. You're gonna feel better, your mood is gonna be better, less pain, more energy, um, and being able to talk about this, the money back guarantee and the great customer service behind this product. So don't forget to talk about lifelong vitality. I think it's good to talk about what they can expect from you. Um, we all know that you can buy, buy an oil just about anywhere. So like, what's the point of having an oil girl? Well, let's tell them what the point is. Like, what are you going to do for them? What kind of care will they receive if they choose to get started with oils? And this kind of looks different for all of us, but you know, I would imagine you send a welcome gift. I would imagine you do a follow-up appointment. You should, if you're not. Um, I would imagine that they're gonna get access to a Facebook community, right? There would be giveaways and they're gonna get ongoing support for you. Maybe that's through continuing education classes or something else you have set up. But you should let them know the quality of care they're going to receive. And it should be awesome care, okay? Talk about the three different ways to purchase oils. Um, none of this is new or rocket science. And again, it's concise and it's straightforward. And it's really leading them to understand the value of wholesale pricing. It gives you a chance to explain that a kit, an enrollment kit, a starter kit, a collection is a fabulous way to get your oils below wholesale um, at the best price possible. And then it gives you a chance to show them the different enrollment kits. Um, so I like to show the healthy essentials first. Um, you know, you're gonna get 10 fabulous oils, 250 drops of almost all of those oils, and the petal diffuser. Um, again, include mentioning any promos that they might get with, um, depending on what month it is and when you're teaching your class, okay? The Healthy Habits Kit, okay? So this is like your foundation. I love this one. My mom loves talking about this one in our class. This is a really good one to touch on, I think. We also like to talk about the Healthy Start because it's such a great kit. And then the Simple Solutions. I like to teach people that this is a great way to get started, get that um, free membership, that enrollment fee waived, and to be able to customize it if they want to add in something that they really like specifically want to focus on while still getting these four amazing initial products, okay? You can't forget helping them or offering to them um, to host a class, right? So the keychain or eight vial keychain from doTERRA, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, what I do, I like to show this screen and I like to say like, would you like one of these? Like, this is how I use it. Like, you know, when your kid's screaming in the back of the car, you've got lavender. When you've eaten something ugh, yucky that's not going well, you've got digest zen. When you have a headache, you've got your peppermint. And kind of walking through that and explaining like, I honestly wish that every like purse, diaper bag or set of car keys had one of these hanging on them because it's just so, it makes life so much better. So um, then being able to say, if you would like one of these, you can get it as a gift from me and um, that they would receive um, one of these empty 
when they got their kit, if they had picked a time to have an online class, right? Like just like we did, we can do an online class for your friends and family. I'll get you one of these keychain and I will fill it up with a free oil for every person who attends. So you can get up to eight oils, right? Eight little oils. So don't forget to um, work on connecting with more people based like from the people that you're already caring for, okay? Book extra classes. And then we go into our business presentation. And this is where I'm just like, all right, what's next? We're gonna take the next 10 minutes to talk about how you can earn an income with doTERRA. Honestly, a lot of people are curious and this is the best and easiest way to explain it. So if you wanna hang out with us and learn more, you are welcome to. And if you'd like to sign off, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. See, that's not that bad. Um, we go right into three different types of people, right? Live, share, build. And it gives us a chance to talk about the um, hauling buckets, right? Building a pipeline and really explaining this difference. And um, I think it's really, it can be really eye-opening for some people to consider. I had a woman say to me like, I've been hauling buckets for a long time. And that's kind of hard to realize maybe, but I think it's important to um, walk people through that process a little bit. You know, where are you? A traditional job, which is absolutely a blessing. We're not talking down on it in this slide. Um, are you looking for like true residual income, which is what you're creating with doTERRA? And this slide just gives you a chance to talk about like why doTERRA? Um, you know, what, why, are, why is it like the best? I think it's the best. Also, side note, these building a pipeline um, slides are coming from Dana Moore, okay? Give credit where credit is due. Um, again, we made a couple of tweaks, but not that many. Okay, so talk about why doTERRA. Talk about how simple it is to make money, right? You sample, I mean, you have to work hard, but like as far as the process, you sample, you teach, you enroll, you support. Okay, not a complicated system. And then being able to share some testimonies. So we actually have a video testimony of, um, it's gonna play there for a second. So of my mom and dad sharing about what residual income, what doTERRA has meant for them. And then um, I take a minute to share um, my testimony. You might wanna share yourself. You might want to use one of our testimonies. You might wanna have somebody else on your team share and invite them to share. Uh, but it's important, I think, you know, it could be anywhere from, I got my oils paid for and it made a world of a difference. Um, I have money for a car payment or towards our mortgage to, I brought my husband home and our lives are forever changed. So testimonies are really good to have here. You can talk about how much time is involved. So people kind of have an idea of like, this is what I want to create and this is the kind of work that it would take to get there. And then a couple extra clarifying questions here. I really like these from Dana um, to make sure that people are like on track with what you're thinking. Like, do you love your oils? Do you care about people? And can you follow a system and get things done? Um, and I think that's kind of, like I said, it's important to ask a few extra questions to make sure you guys are on the same wavelength. You can give them next steps, which is so great. It's always important to help lead somebody into what the next thing is gonna be. You know, which are you, which type of person are you? Are you living the lifestyle? Are you sharing? Are you building? Um, you know, a chance to attend the Business Made Easy presentation. This is a once a month deeper dive we do into um, the compensation plan, but a little bit more about the business too, okay? And then getting connected, connect them into daily mentor calls or things that you have in place that care for people. Um, connect them into a call with you but make sure they can get connected in your Facebook group, get connected into those things. Okay. Right. Look at that the whole class. Okay. So that was the basic bones of the class, but I do think it's really important. There are some very important tweaks to make to your class when you're doing it online. Cause again, you're face to face, but not really face to face. And there's a difference. So the first tweak is that um, I'll show you the slide here in a minute. Right away, early on, you intro yourself, you tell them what you're going to do in the class, and then boom, you have them get out their phone and text you. So I say, go ahead and pull a blank text message, and I want you to put in the recipient box, like whoever invited you to this class. So realistically, like you might have had to put your number in the chat box, they might already, might already have your number, but you're going to help them pull up that text message, and then you're going to help them put their health goals and concerns in the body of that text message and hit send. Okay, so why this? Well, it engages them in thinking about what would oils be helpful for, and it also helps them reach out to you with their health goals. This is super important information because not only do you, like you have their contact information now, which is so critical for like good care um, and good follow-up, but it helps you personalize your care too, because it means that you can say to them, 
this is like, let's like look in the reference book at oils that might be helpful for those health goals. Let's look at um, like the two kits that have most of the oils that you would need in them. Is there one that you would prefer and kind of walk through? Don't hesitate to, um, you know, personalize it and break it down that way. You're not going to have time to do that on the Zoom. You're going to need to do that. So that's why it's really important to have them text you. And then closing and following up, this is going to look a little different too, but you're going to set the expectation that you will be reaching out to them. And I just say, I'm not reaching out to stalk you. I'm reaching out because I want to help you think about what things would be helpful for your health goals and concerns and brainstorm that. Okay. And you can do this casually, right? Like just say, I'm going to reach out to you and then do that when you have time. Or, um, I have done this before. I know other people have done this, um, to have, uh, like a sign up sheet. So in the chat box of your zoom room, you could put a link to like a Google doc or a Google sheet that show different time slots. Maybe they're 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes that people could sign up for. And, um, then have that time to further connect with you and personalize what's going on. Um, some people set up a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Like a full one-on-one -on -one from the class. I was just like embrace the process and meet those people where they're at and where they need to receive care. Maybe they need to hear like the whole class over again, all over again in a one-on-one -on -one format and that's okay. Do it for them. Don't be afraid to use a link generator. It's a life changer. It will make your life so easy. Um, so use that, you know, send them the link generator with the kit in it that you recommend and um, let them go ahead and put their information in and get that started, okay? So this is just an image of those two slides that go at the beginning of the class. So text me, help them get out their phone, and then talk them through um, sending you their health concerns or health concerns for a member of their family. Um, but this is a really important place to start. Do not miss this. this. This will make online way more successful for you if you make sure to implement this and help them in that way. Okay, um, I honestly would recommend waiting on the call. Like, okay, you're gonna send and wait for those texts to come in. You know, you'll hear the little ding, ding, and be like, oh, thanks so much, Amber. Thanks for sending me your texts. Um, and oh, thanks so much, Sally. Right, so give them some time to actually do it. You don't have to race right through this, okay? So you are gonna get access to my PowerPoint um, that I've kind of modified and that I have all together that I walked you through almost all of it. And um, my outline, um, it's going to be on my website. So we're going to get you the link so you can go and you can grab that. Um, you can make a copy of it, make tweaks, do what you need to do. Um, but that way you don't feel like you have to furiously take notes. You can um, utilize that for you. Okay. I just want you guys to go do it. Like go teach your classes, go set your weekly schedule and be consistent and show up for people and don't be afraid of doing it online. And you just have to go get it done. Um, one of the lines that I often repeat to myself is like, good enough is good enough. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, my presentation certainly isn't perfect. The outline that you're getting <laughs> in that link is not perfect, but you just have to get it done and you have to show up and care for people. This is a picture of my daughter jumping into the lake the other night. And like, this is what it sometimes feels like. Like you just have to run as fast as you can off the end of the dock and you have to jump. I understand she knows she's going to be caught by that water mat. We don't always know, but you will be caught by, um, the power and the effectiveness of the essential oils you're sharing, the incredibleness that's a word of like the company that we work for, like the incredible things that doTERRA offers, the incredible like infrastructure that is there. So jump in, teach people, invite people, engage with people because you will be super duper amazed. All right. I just want to thank you for taking the time um, to listen to this. I hope it helped you. I hope it inspired you. And I'm super excited to see what you do with an online essential oils made easy.